Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and YouTubers alike. Oh, it's Ducky. I'm here with Van City Van, or with Van Life in Missouri. It is day three of my trip. I just checked my uh, campsite registration. It's going to turn into a four-day trip. Missouri State regulations are check out is by, out by 2 uh, and they had me down till 6-1 which is January 1st which is or June 1st which is tomorrow so yeah I actually slept in today I'm a little tired broke out the old monsters to get me up and get moving uh, when I got out of the van this morning my campmates across the way two sites over to my right well my left your right my right your left and then the campmates that I had over to my right on the other side of the van are all gone guess a lot of people are checking out because tomorrow is Monday morning they're going into work today don't know exactly what the plan is yet uh, I was going to get up earlier, go into town and try to find a portable solar panel. But yeah, things change. Gotta love van life. You're your own master, your own destination, and what you want to do. So yeah, I got uh, the Elysium's at about 41%. Yesterday when I went up to the shower house, it charged up to about 60 so, power reserves are kind of getting into a critical area. I might have to sit here and uh, rip apart the van. Find my uh, DC charger. Which I can plug into the cigarette lighter and plug into the Elysium and charge that way. Uh, I also am probably going to pull the stuff out of the van. Get it cleaned up and more organized. It still looks like a gong show. It's crazy how quick a small area can get all messy and insane. Yeah, you live and you learn. And it'll be a lot easier once I get actually everything built out in the van. Right now I'm pretty much running a bare bones kit. I have some panels on the floor. I have thermal boarding on the first half of the cargo bay towards the cab done I have none on the back half which is towards the rear so yeah I'm still kinda getting it built but it probably would be a lot easier once I get things built in and I actually have storage to put everything and I actually know the actual room that I have right now I'm running on three bins plus two clothes sacks plus my hiking pack my electrical bag when I'm out in the field so yeah it's definitely a learning curve I carry too much gear but I'm the person who believes in the redundancies something fails on you you have to have something in reserve but that's me uh, A lot of ways kind of been in a little bit of a slump yesterday and today wishing I was a little bit more prepared for uh, this trip wish I had a couple sponsors to actually help me build out the van and get me products to use and test in the field uh, it's just this trip cost me a little bit more than I expected, but that happens. At least I had the money. Sorry, there was a bug on the lens there. But at least I had the money to cover what I did get. But yeah, I'm just trying to get things figured out. Learn. And learn and learn. Like I said, this has all been a major learning curve for me. 
I'm used to doing hiking trips where you carry everything on your back. You don't have a home base to run with. And I should have more looked at this type of living as that. But I'm not going to give up on it. I love it. I love it. It's definitely my type of living. Once I get everything built out and in the van that I want. Sorry, the flies are killer again today. I got a centronella candle burning, so hopefully that'll push them away from us. Yeah, but the flies, again, it's first warmer weather of the year. They are horrendous out here today. And over the weekend, they've been horrendous. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how everything is going to go. I might be doing a little bit of cooking this morning. I don't know. I might have a quick lunch or a quick breakfast. I didn't break in the Oreos last night. I was up late uploading yesterday's stuff onto the Surface 7 Pro. I finally hit the sack. It was about 12... 135? 12.30, 1.35 this morning. So, yeah, I slipped in. But, yeah, I'm probably going to plan this. Probably going to be breaking out everything out of the van. Cleaning it, reorganizing it. Getting things situated. So, for the trip home tomorrow. So, all I got to do is break down my cot. Put up my sleeping bag, move everything else around. Uh, food reserves are pretty good. I still have a decent amount of food left. I got peanut butter and jelly in there. I got two more hamburgers. I got hash browns. I got two eggs left on top of the reserve that I have that I used to carry when I was hiking. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much where everything is at right now. Hopefully, I might throw the chest cam on. Might do some walking around. I don't know yet. If not, we'll see how quick I get through getting the van in order. Getting everything situated. Fucking flies. Pardon the French. But yeah, that's pretty much where everything stands right now. Trying to get the gumption to get up and get moving. Throw on some music. It's going to be a little bit longer of a video today. Just wanted to talk to you guys and see how I was feeling on everything. But yeah, who knows? I might not do a little bit of cameraing. A little bit of recording for a while. Who knows? I might throw the time lapse up with the GoPro and see how well that runs. I know the phone needs to charge right now. Uh, I need to pull everything out of here. I need to get the reserves done. I need to find my charging cords. Probably going to get something to eat here in a little bit. So, yeah, that's pretty much where everything's at. So, we'll get this going. I'm going to flip on some music. I might throw a time lapse up. Showing me cleaning out the van, pulling the reserves, doing everything that I need to do. Uh, setting it all out, getting it reorganized. We'll probably be shooting from a different angle today. I don't know. I kind of like shooting from the angle that I have been shooting at because it gives you the whole shot of the side of the van. The table's not in the way me oh used the lug of blue last night good investment need to go clean that out today too that's on to do list but yeah other than that that is it for the day sorry I know I say that's it for the day and I keep on talking 
but it's me just running through my thoughts and getting everything on camera showing you what my processes are how my processes are because everybody has their niches everybody has the ways they do things I try to do my best since I'm brand new to all this to find my own ways and learn but that comes with the ground anything you try new it comes with the ground you gotta learn about it you gotta practice it you gotta figure it out you learn to work with what you have like the gentleman who I watch all the time is uh, Van City Van Life Chrome when he first started he had a huge learning curves he had a whole bunch of learning curves he learned or he had to learn and his channel is huge now because it showed from the beginning to where he is now and he's been in his van for three years yeah three years me I'm just starting this out I started maybe two three months ago I bought my van which I still owe you guys a van tour the before and then I'm gonna do an after no uh, but yeah, and I mean a lot of the stuff that I watch from Chrome, I kind of learned from him. Phenomenal guy, great guy, how he was able to do everything and his channel developed and evolved as quickly as it did. There's a couple other ones that I watch. Emma and Beck, they're another van couple. Uh, Trent and Allie is another van couple that I watch. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm learning a lot from what their experiences are. And I'm hoping that if people want to get into this, they start learning from my experiences too that I learned and how I'm learning to develop with everything. It's kind of my story on how I am. It's kind of cool to document everything and to show that it's not all great views sugar spice phenomenal stuff there is moments in life where you get drugged down you get depressed you don't want to do anything but you got to control yourself and get yourself up and do it you got to learn from it life's a journey i mean i have two wonderful roommates who are helping me with my journey I have a wonderful support group through work with all the guys at work and the gals at work because they're like my family. And they all support me on it and they stand behind me. Oh, this day cannot get any worse. Almost had a malfunction with the GoPro that I just bought. 24 hours ago, maybe 72. SD card came up, everything froze up, so, and it went and shut down. So I pulled the SD card. Luckily, I was able to save everything that I had and transfer it to the GoPro 7. Oh, let's hope that doesn't happen again. If not, I might be hefting to go into town today and get a new SD card. I don't know. I hope not. It happens. Well, I'm going to back out of this. Had to do a test reel or B footage, whatever you want to call it. We'll set you guys up here in a little bit. Bye. Alrighty guys, had to charge the GoPro yet again. Uh, I, as you can see, I've already started working on cleaning out the van to get everything organized. Hopefully I can get this better situated. You know, time right now is not 10.17, 2.16 in the afternoon. Uh, other than that, 
I'm going to go ahead and put you on time lapse and you can watch me do whatever I got to do. All right, bye. Say you love me. Say you like you mean it. Cause lately I've been wondering if we should be together. Tell me how you feel. It's now or never. Now or never. But you're yelling at me for something I didn't even do. Making it so hard for me yeah, I think I need a vacation Cause all we ever do now is complaining And I've been getting tired of it lately oh, Feels like we're battling Maybe it's better if we're on our own
pretty long day you watch the time lapse it's 14 minutes and 69 seconds of me getting the van in order and everything's clean now it doesn't look like it's a freaking dong show basically what we're gonna do it's about six o'clock right now the GoPro needs to charge so this is what I am thinking. I am thinking that I throw the time lapse on my phone. We walk down to the lake while the GoPro is charging. I'll throw up the tripod and hopefully maybe we can get a time lapse of the sunset. I'm going to get together a quick bag here in a few minutes. I'm going to have dinner down by the lake, hopefully. So, other than that, I will see you guys here in a while. We will run, I'll probably run this over to get charged now, collapse down the tripod, throw together my go bag, and we'll go have some fun, go do some hiking. Alright, see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully, everything goes well. So that's what we are going to do. I'm going to stop you on my phone right now. We're going to get charged up and we're going to go.
ladies and gentlemen. Just got done doing the uh, the lovely uh, time lapse of the sunset down the lake and me and having dinner. We're actually headed to the trailhead here, back up to camp. I'm gonna run the uh, GoPro while I'm walking up. I'm gonna possibly, probably run it in a time lapse so I don't kill the battery too much. But we're starting everything off now. I got my headphones in and we're gonna get walking. Alright, hope you enjoy it.